everybody. Welcome to the Paul Cruz Show. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm excited. I'm always excited. Are you? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm producing some new content for the new year. Uh, me doing my podcast. And uh, I think the new year is going to be a really powerful year for me. And I want to share this with you guys. And I'm in my studio right now, and I'm taking different angles. So I'm moving this, the, the sofas and the chairs to different views uh, because it's really small in here. And they're going to be renovating it next month to make it more uh, more spacious and things like that. So I'm excited about that. But uh, my podcast, if some of you know me, my podcast show is about speaking what needs to be said, not what people want to hear. I leave that for the politician. I like to keep it real. And sometimes people don't like it, and I'm okay with that because I can't please everyone, and I'm not going to try to do that. I'm just going to speak the truth and say what needs to be said and just get people to think about things. Because you see, the most powerful thing is our mind. Unfortunately, a lot of us don't know how to use it. And the second thing is, thinking is very difficult. But most people act on emotions. And look at society today. Look at how people relate to each other today. Everything's about yelling and attacking and accusing and doing all that nonsense stuff. For me, I don't get into that. So before I share my topic with you, you're watching this on YouTube, do me a favor. If you like the video, smash the like button, share your comments, share your thoughts. If you want to follow me on my channel, just hit the subscription bump below. Uh, and the Paul Cruz Show is sponsored and produced by my parent company, Paul Cruz Sales Agency, where sales do happen. Now, what is the topic about? I have spoken about this topic maybe a couple of different times. And every time I want to talk about this topic, there's other things I want to add to it because I'm learning and growing. And I want to add to it. But it's a very simple question. Yet most people never ask themselves that question. So here's the topic. And here's the question. What is your motivation what makes you tick why do you do what you do is it because you love it is it because you're good at it is it because that's all you know what is it what's your motivation I'm gonna have me a zip of coffee right now mm, I love coffee See, why am I bringing this topic up? Because as some of you know, and I say this quite often, and I'm not trying to sound repetitive, but every single day I speak with a lot of different types of business people at every level. Some are entrepreneurs, small business owners, some are huge billion dollar companies, some are medium sized companies, but I get the privilege and honor to speak and learn from a lot of different types of sources. And a lot of times, I'm not going to say a lot of times, but recently, companies and clients and students have been asking, Paul, why do you do what you do? What motivates you? And my response is very simple. It's not money that motivates me. Not at all. Don't get me wrong. I like getting paid, but it's not my focus. Money on a scale of one to ten is about less than a half, less than a percent, or let's call it a half a percent motivation. It's just not. You got a lot of sales coaches and trainers and a lot of influence out there. That's all they talk about is money. That's okay. I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not judging them. It's just, for me, it's the wrong thing to think about. I think about value. I focus on value. I focus on the process. That's what I focus on. Sales and closing deals, that's easy. 
The process is where everything is at. So what is your motivation? Is becoming rich your motivation? Becoming a billionaire, is that your motivation? Does it having a lot of money, is that your motivation? How about this? Having a lot of material wealth? A lot of homes? A lot of cars? Is that your motivation? Having prestigious titles like CEO, chairman of the board, being the boss, is that your motivation? It's controlling people because power can only come by people giving it to you, right? Is it about controlling people? Is it about your ego and your pride, thinking your shit don't stink? That motivates people. Believe me, <laughs> it does. And some of them don't realize it, but I do. So ask yourself that question. Are any of those a motivating factor to you? Now, I don't want you to think that I don't like making money. Well, I don't make money. I earn money. We can't make money. Because if we make money, we'll go to jail. That's called counterfeit. I do very well. I get paid very well. But because I earn it. Because I love what I do. Because I'm looking every day to become valuable. It's not the prestige or the power. Because I don't have no power. But I have my character and I have my word, which is more than power. Think about that. What motivates you? What makes you tick? Why do you do what you do? I'm going to flip it on the other side. Is your motivating factor about being humble? Is your motivation being about being kind to others and loving others as you love yourself? Even your enemies, even those that may turn on you and prosecute you and persecute you. Is your motivation about going the extra step for your clients? Not worrying about... Sorry, I had my phone on. I thought I had it off. Sorry about that, guys. So is that your motivation? Is it about building righteous character? Is it about keeping your word, even if it works against you, even if it costs you, but you keeping your word? Is it about building righteous character? Is it about being truthful? And honest and sincere and genuine and authentic in all of your affairs, business and personal. See, I learned this. The most valuable things in life are free. And we take it for granted and people dismiss it. Like our word, our values, our principles. Our moral values, our character, our word. It's priceless if you keep it and you treasure it and you embrace it. Does solving problems motivate you? Do you embrace problems or do you make excuses and blame other people or blame something else? Or do you take responsibility and turn it into an opportunity? And learn from it. And turn it into opportunities. Not only for you but for other people. Is Does that motivate you? Let me tell you something. What motivates me? Being uncomfortable is where I'm comfortable. Because I never take anything for granted. And here's the other thing. When things are going wrong. 
and you're going through hard times. Do you embrace it? Do you consider why? Do you consider there's lessons there? Does that motivate you? Just think about that. Because at the end of the day, there's always something that motivates us. There's reasons why we get up every day to go to work, to go to our business office, to go to a meeting, to cut a deal, negotiate a deal. There's a motivating factor that makes us do what we do. Because you see, your actions, my actions, our actions are tied to our thoughts. So whatever you think about is going to motivate you eventually to take that action. You can't, you can't get away from that. It's like in life. There's a cause and there's an effect. There's a mindset. There's an attitude. The mindset is the cause. The action and the attitude is the effect. Here's what else motivates me. I have people in this office building and my client's office and wherever I go, they go, why are you always happy? Why are you always excited? Where do you get all that energy from? How do you do it? I never see you upset. I say, you'll never see me upset. You'll never see me with a bad attitude. I may be upset, but I'll never give a bad attitude to anybody because attitude is contagious. Is my attitude worth catching? Because I know it does affect people, whether it's good or bad. So my motivation is always to have the right attitude every single day. And how do I get that attitude? It's my mindset, how I think. That's where it all starts. And that's why I love what I do. I'm really good at it. I produce results for my clients. I solved their, some of their financial problems. Not all of it, but most of it. How? I produce sales for them. Because in every business, it comes down to sales, right? How do you go about it? It's different. So that's my motivation. So for all of you entrepreneurs, small business owners, salespeople, you really need to ask yourself that question. Why do you do what you do? Why are you starting a business? Why do you want to start a business? Is it because you love it? Or is it because you want power? You want money? You want success? You want wealth? Ain't nothing wrong with any of those things. But the one thing of that and, and working for money, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to like it. Because you're never going to do the things you don't like to get the things you like. That things I don't like doing, but people will never know that because I like I like it. Why? Because I have no choice. I embrace it. I do it because there's some good things that will come out of it. That is my motivation. Every single day, my motivation is to become a better person every day, build righteous character, be truthful in all my affairs, go the extra step for people. I don't worry about money. I know it sounds crazy. You probably think uh, that's crazy. But I don't care. It's the truth. And because I don't worry about it, and it's not my motivation, it comes to me. <laughs> because I know the value I have. And my motivation is to continue every day to get better, enhance my skill. Become more valuable every day. And money will always come. I'm not worried about that. I was motivated at a young man when I was younger. All about the money. And I made a lot of money. But I was the most miserable guy you could ever be. That's a fact. So my motivation is not about money, and I make it, or I earn it. But if I do everything else right, and I build a strong foundation, the right mindset, the right attitude, the right character, keep my word, being honest, being truthful in everything that I do, money will always attract that. So 
that's that's my topic for today. I wanted to share that with you. I think it's an important topic. I think it's a question every day we should ask ourselves or periodic, periodically ask ourselves, you know, what is motivating me right now? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And if you could be honest with yourself and answer that question honestly, you're going to be all right. Because here's one thing I learned. When you have a strong enough why you want to do something that motivates you, how to do it will come. And if you really love it, you're not going to cheat it. You're not going to lie to it. You're not going to be deceptive to it. You're not going. You're going to cater to it. You're going to protect it, right? Because that's all we have, and that comes down to again our word and our character. Does that make sense? But uh, anyway, guys, just want to share this with you. I hope this topic's been helpful. I hope it gives you something to think about. Again, if you like this video, smash the like button. Share your comments. Share your thoughts. And if you want to follow me. Just hit the subscription button below. Till we speak again, I want to thank you for being part of the Paul Cruz Show. And remember this. What is your motivation? Talk to you later. Have a good day.